Okay, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Arm Badass. Today I am going to be making a knife sheath for a Japanese Hig Higakami. Hig Higanakami. Is it Higanakami? Higanakami. It's. I thought you said pig and a commie. No. Pig and a commie. <laughs> hey! All right. Let's get started on the build. I'm going to pull you over here and show you guys what I'm doing. It's pretty unique. It kind of clips. It'll kind of clip on your belt loop or whatever it is you've got going on. And you can wear it on keychains and things like that. It's kind of a little trick I got. Someone saw that I had made one. I posted it on Instagram a while back. And someone was totally tripping out and said, Dude, man, bro, you got to make me one. So now I got to make another one. So I figured I'd make a video. All right, we'll pull you over. Here. All right, just ignore the mess. Hang on, I got to have some coffee. It's uh, it's kind of early. All right. So this is the template. I wanted to show people how I do my molds. And yes, I still use a staple gun. It doesn't change anything. It, you, a lot of people who do leather craft use staple guns. So this mold over here is a mold for a knife sheath that I'm making for FLP. I haven't, uh, it's still drying and I just don't have, have the, uh, the, all the stuff I need right away, but I've already got, this is still drying. I'm doing molds for him. And this is the, uh, Hijikami, Hig, Higakami, whatever. It's hard to say it. It's a knife. Okay. And it has a hinge on it. And that's kind of what it is. I'll get into the history of it in another video. I've got different uh, different types of loops. This is the type of loop I'm going to be using. You could use different styles. This is the same one as this one. I couldn't find the one like this, but like that. But you could pick that up from like Lowe's or any hardware store. Uh, the other project I'm working on today is I'm doing leather craft for this. This used to be a Harbor Freight axe, and it's been cut down. I just figured I'd share my projects before I even get started. But all I use is my wood uh, my wood chisel. I just reach under, and then all you do is just kind of wiggle. Just be very careful. Now this, you can tell the difference in the leather right off the bat just by looking at the two. This is 10 ounce. See how thick that is? And it is hard as nails. All right, 10 ounce leather for certain knife sheaths I build. This is six and seven and this is all I have left of it I don't have a whole lot of it I have just enough to finish this project someone was asking me I use six and seven to make uh, uh, hatchet sheaths and things like that and someone was actually asking me if I can make them a hatchet. I was like well I've got a hatchet that I need to make a sheath for and I don't even have the material for so I've got to order more I run out of I run out of leather all the time but it's this simple just be patient and just just chisel it up all the way around just like that now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go all the way around it all right okay I've got it up now all I do with stuff like this I've this is really clean knife it's been well, well taken care of it is pre-owned uh, it isn't like a brand new knife or anything this had to pass through customs to get here it did come from Japan and but that's the the knife let me, let me zoom in on some of you that are really gonna want to see it it's nice and shiny and it's just got the hinge so you just kind of do that number there just like that very nice knife a lot of history involved in these knives you know it this I, I couldn't tell you how many years old this knife is okay this is not a newer knife this is a very very old knife all right let's just set that to the side I don't want anything happening to it so I'm actually gonna and I'm going to keep it in this the whole time. All right. Let's just get that out of the way. I don't want anything happening to it. All right. Uh, what I do, let me back up here. You see my metal plate. I have everything here for a reason. This is for punching holes. This is for uh, pushing out stuff like this. Just go around it just like that. Just use your finger just like I'm doing. Just like that. And that's how you remove that. See? That's simple. Just pull them out. And make sure when you do your stapling to do them in a straight line and keep them back to back like a train. Like picture train cars, right? And that'll give you great markings for when you uh, start lining up your holes for your stitching. It'll give you nice. Now you might get one bent every now and then, just bend it back and push it out. 
just like that. Anyways, you kind of get the point of that. I don't want to waste your time with pushing these through. So there's that. We've got one scrap piece of leather here that I had left over. It does have some imperfections, but it'll be okay. I'll push through. But the way uh, the way this works, this actually folds in and comes up, okay, and comes into it. But it narrows out here at the end. But what I'm going to do first, I need to figure out the placement of my, my kids are going crazy again. All right. But all I do, I've already got this figured out. Never mind my kids. They're going to be loud and crazy. All right. I just use a regular ink pen and trace it out how much I need. Just like that. Right. I need to know where that is. It's good to know. It's good to have a reference point. Don't worry about that because it's just going to get covered up when I flip over it anyway. But there, I have my reference point, so I can cut that out now. Now, I want a very nice arch on top of this. So what I do, I take something round and I set it up there. And I press it up against it. Hey, you? <laughs> Hang on, kid. Hang on. Yeah, up. Hang on. All right, so I got my line. <laughs> my kids are going crazy. All right, so I got my line. I'm just going to cut into this. I'll try to trace it right on the line there. And then there's one thing that I won't be able to do with scissors. All right. Now I have a nice little curve there. Exactly what I was looking for. So I've got this. Now I need to cut into this. So it's going to have to... I'm going to have to utilize my razor again. So what I'm going to do is drive it in. Got to be very careful. Just kind of wiggle. Okay. Just like this, go in, kind of wiggle, wiggle and pull it. This is how the design on the other one was that I made. All right, is that now? Gotta make sure you got it lined up with the other side there. I like showing this stuff because a lot of people don't know that they can do this. Just like that. And this one's got a little bit more than I want. So you're just going to slide into it. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? Just press and turn it and slide. So you can trim off just a little bit. All right, now you can trim it up with scissors. This project really won't require a lot of sanding at the end. I will kind of round it off a little bit, but that's pretty much that. I'll probably have to use that again. All right, now that I've got these lined up, yeah, actually I do have to use it again. I got these lined up now. Now I need to know where all this goes. So. I've got this here. <laughs> of course, my kids are going crazy. All right, so I got this. Now I can cut this out. So I've got to cut this out the exact same way. So hang on. That's about what it looks like when you. And I had to go around it like I did with this one. Same process. I just cut that out. <laughs> uh, <coughs> same process. And you want to build enough room so that you can squeeze this in here. And you, a little bit of that leather is going to get pressed down. But you're going to build it up about like this. And, you know, it's a little bit wider. So don't cut it too skinny if you're doing this. But you're going to come up about like that. 
now that I've got a good spot for it, you know, I can tack that down now. And so what you do, you're going to put a rivet right in there. All right. You see that? Just going to put a rivet right there. So now I've got my rivet in place like that. Of course, you want to take off your hardware to do that. You want to see how much of this material you want to cut off. So you want, you want that to sit firm in there. You don't want it to be too crazy, but you're going to leave a little bit of material in there. You're about there. Yeah. Just like that. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to cut it all the way up. You want to kind of hide some of that to give it a look. Just like that. But that'll retain the blade. That actually works as a uh, retention but you fold when you that keeps the blade in there from sliding out if it ever starts to loosen up then that's going to keep it in there and to open it up to get the blade you fold this out and you grab the tab and pull so it's just a retention to keep the blade from falling out all right now I am ready to uh, glue <laughs> you got to glue it and I'm going to start drilling my holes. But first I'm going to glue it and then I'm going to drill all of my holes. Alright, looks like it's dry. I'm just taking the clips off. You can get the clips from a dollar store. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Lady looked at me funny when I was buying a whole bunch of these. Why are you getting so many of those? Alright, so set up here. This over here. This is just a steel pen that's uh, sharpened. So it's just a steel pen for those that want to know. I'm just going to start making the holes to kind of have a general idea of where I want to go. about like that just making some holes all right I've got my holes now I need to just start stitching it I went ahead and did four right here to connect these together just a little bit it gives it a little bit more feature to it so from the back to the front if anyone ever looks then they can see that it actually has more features stitching you just want to use a needle with a large eyelet that's really all you need for hand stitching for what I do I double it up sometimes I triple it up the amount of thread I put in and uh, sometimes I go back to front you know different there's different types of stitching techniques if you want to uh, do saddle stitch or whatever the way I do this is real simple when I go in uh, I go in I go all the way and what I like to do is take this extra here and I start braiding I start braiding the stitch is what I do but I just go back through like this All right. boom and then I just I fold this over here and bring this back here so I don't have any uh, material hanging out and it won't go anywhere forever so uh, you can leave it like that Like that and then like I said I bring it back over it's kind of like those weirdos that like braiding paracord right <laughs> I just defended nine people all right just like that and I just keep doing that all the way through Boom. yep make sure I'm still on path and I just keep doing that and all I'm doing is braiding that leftover thread back into itself. There we go. Alright, stitching's done. All I gotta do now is do some sanding. I just want to smooth it out and level it out if I have to. Just little imperfections here and there. Got my stitching here like I said I would. There we go. 
I'm gonna set up my sander here. It's high tech. Pretty much it right there probably clean up the top side but yeah I don't care all right one part dye one part leather sheen already mixed up for those of you that don't know and this is a uh, saddle tan like always that's just the color I go with I like that color it's my thing yo no rubber gloves once again I like keeping my uh, my fingers and hands and everything just nice and funky yellow all the time. That's just it's my style, man. It's how I re I kick it. <laughs> yeah, kick it, yo yo. All right, let's just get. Sometimes when you sand, you'll get these little these little ridges. I got to get those ridges off. I didn't even notice it until I sit down. All right, there's that. There's one little one up here. If you're very careful, you can get them. If you see what I mean? It's like an edge. I don't want those little edges. Y'all. Stomach's rumbling. Better go eat something. Started this project at 4 in the morning, and I'm still working on it because I don't care. That's how I roll. Dum -dum 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 -dum. It's going to be a really cool looking uh, sheath. A lot of work goes into stuff like this. People just clicking by all day long, right? <laughs> I like that. I'm going to buy it. Click. Nobody makes stuff anymore. It's scary. I was just talking about that with Sippy Cup the other day. It's scary. Nobody buys stuff. Nobody, nobody can really make stuff anymore. They just click. Click and buy. Gotta make sure I get in there a little bit. <clears throat> good thing I don't have a lot of parts and components with this one today. So that's a good thing. Look what I bought. Look what I made, fool. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to go with a different leather guy next time for some of the stuff that I get. Cause it, I asked for uh, a certain size thickness of leather, and they sent me some craziness. It's not what I needed at all. All right. There's that. Let's just let that dry a little bit. If you can see that, I'm let that dry. I have it. That's the sheath. Pretty sweet. I'm digging it. But yeah, it just goes in. You've got your your tab right there for that. That's for your blade. So you're holding it in your hand and you just flick it out. 
just like that and click it back in put it away you have your tab there and I made a tab mark here you see that a nice little tab mark so it holds it a little bit stiffer it's gonna take some time to break it in but it goes in just like that all right and then it's like this you see the tab there that's where you grab it you might have to have a little effort to get it out but there you go Ta -da. there you go that's your uh, sheath for this thing but really cool design you just kind of you tab it onto your uh, pants somewhere or on your keychain whatever it is but that's the style for this that's what you do so there you go thought i would share i'm sharing uh you're watching sos i'm stuff starting by us have a beautiful fabulous fantastic day rainbows and unicorns and light brights and care bears that spray rainbow stuff everything in sunshine and buttercups and flowers All right i love you guys and gals god bless you and take it easy